Hello fellow wanderers, in Parshas Tazriya Mitzora we learn this idea of a person's home being struck by leprosy. And it's an odd thing to think about, but essentially there would be this spiritual affliction that would plague itself upon the walls of the inhabitants of a home. And they would come and tell the Kohen, and the Kohen would come in and inspect it, and then they would break down the walls. And Chazal say it was a blessing in disguise. Meaning you would think it would be a horrible thing if now you have to break down your walls because your walls have this spiritual leprosy. But buried behind the walls was the gold from the previous residence. And so what started as a klala turns out to be a bracha. The classic idea of gamzu latova. So we have flooding in our house. Yay! And we're trying to figure it out. We're backing the water out. trying to get rid of the But during the entire time, we've said Gamzula Tova. To get a new basement. What'd you say? This is to get a new basement. This is Gamzula Tova? Gamzula Tova, yes. It really is. Why is it Gamzula Tova? Because now People flooding gonna, in the basement. Because maybe oh. the insurance is going to see this. And then there's going to be mold. And then we'll get a whole new basement. Oh. So everything that Hashem does... Is for the best. Uh -huh. All right, well, wait till you deal with insurance companies, kid. Wait till you deal with insurance companies. Nothing beats pumping out your basement with wet backs. Hi. Honey, what's your understanding of Gamzlu Tova as an airplane flies over my head? You can't hear me say what? Have you ever had any bad experiences that retroactively, in hindsight, actually turned out to be blessings? Let me know in the comment section below. Find me on Facebook by looking at the links down below. And give me a thumbs up if you like this message. It helps me out in ways you cannot imagine. Um, I'm making a video. None of your business. Anyway, <laughs> yelling at the neighborhood kids. I will talk to you next time. Be'ezra Sashem.